Do not use HCG if you're trying to boost your testosterone long term. Here's why. So HCG is known for boosting endogenous testosterone. In fact, it's often used as a PCT, a post-cycle therapy, to reboot the HPTA axis after it's suppressed by exogenous androgens. But what if I told you that this is essentially an illusion? HCG is what's known as an LH mimetic. It mimics luteinizing hormone, the hormone that tells your balls to produce testosterone. So yes, take HCG and watch the balls produce more testosterone. But your balls are effectively relying on an exogenous form of luteinizing hormone. So your body stops producing its own luteinizing hormone. In fact, if you take HCG for long enough, your LH will go to zero. So HCG is actually suppressing the HPTA axis by mimicking one of its components. It can be useful as a PCT when you're transitioning from something like exogenous testosterone because it's less suppressive than exogenous testosterone, but it's still suppressive. Your body doesn't start rebooting its endogenous LH production until after you've quit the HCG. And not only does it suppress LH, but it downregulates the LH receptors in your balls, which means it stops working as well over time. Now, if you want to temporarily enhance fertility or gradually reduce suppression rather than coming off testosterone cold turkey, then HCG has some utility. But if you want to boost your endogenous testosterone production long term, then enclomiphene is a much better option. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus Chi Chi. It is in the description below.